This is the quick overview of the GS Design web interface. There are two basic parts to the web interface. First, there's an input panel on the left. Second, there's an output panel on the right. We'll go a little bit through each one. The input panel has three primary tabs. In the sample size tab, you have type 1 error and power, as well as the type of endpoint to be recorded and other information used to require to generate the sample size required. The second tab provides timing and number of interim analyses. Timing can be equal or unequal, and you can have an arbitrary number of analyses. Boundaries, uh, all boundaries are spending function based. You can have them symmetric or asymmetric. You can have different types of bounds, either with no parameters, such as the O'Brien Fleming, or Pocock-like functions, one parameter, which are the common Huang Shidakani, or power spending functions, and then others as well. And you have the same options for the lower spending functions. Finally, moving on to the out output tabs, there are several plots available. You can have boundaries, power plots, uh, hazard ratio plots for time to event endpoints, or treatment effect plots for other endpoints conditional power plots, spending functions, and B values. We move on to the tabular output, which you can copy. We'll demonstrate how to copy this quickly into Word, both the table and the description. We'll move it into Word and paste in there. Uh, you can see that you'll very quickly get things copied. Um, next. There's text output, which is the original output used for GS Design, perhaps not as useful anymore. Uh, next, there is code output, which can be used to program into GS Design. Uh, I would suggest copying this code and saving it once you've gotten a design that you like. Finally, there's an About tab, which tells you a little bit of information about GS Design. Next, uh, going back to uh, the sample size input, You'll notice this button called Expand Inputs. That is to give you finer control on the inputs and make it a little bit easier to get things exactly where you want. Once you've set them, you can restore and you have the output. That is the quick tour of GS Design Web Interface.